Hello there, this is Isa Palmate of Atropatherium. This is a red Japanese maple. Stays red all year from spring to autumn. Now this was our smallest tree about six, seven years ago. It was only about 12 inches high when we bought it. It had a couple of stems to it with lots of leaves. Um, over the years we lost um, one of those major stems, chunks, uh, which died back and it was pruned off. Uh, but it's also had bits of die back here and there, so the shape of the tree has changed a lot over the past six years. Um, the trunk seems to be a lot more bare now, but it's also took on this wonderful natural, almost umbrella shape, um, which I'm going to emphasise a little bit with some super pruning shortly. Uh, the tree like many young trees will change shape as they, they grow from year to year some will get very bushy, some will get sparser like this one um, but it's just go with the flow of the actual individual tree and I really like this one, it reminds me of someone sort of dancing or skating where they've got their arms outstretched one lower than the other it's, I really like the shape of this one. Now this tree was repotted, uh, it had a little bit of a root prune where I pruned half an inch or so off the complete root ball round the sides and underneath and that was just repotted up into some fresh compost and some chip bark but also I sprinkled some root and powder on the root ball before I put it in back in the pot. Now that root and powder gives it such energy and this year we've seen the return of some very large leaves that the tree used to have when the tree's in good health it really shows some good sized leaves that it's known for obviously I have a few bits of brown here and there must be a little bit caterpillar damage um, a little bit weather damage on some of these leaves, a little bit of balance with some water and oxygen in the pot, maybe um, no aphids because the tree's been sprayed um, about once every six weeks since the spring. Just a light spray of bug clear over the top of the tree that my good friend Ray has been recommended for a couple of years and I've tried it this year and that's really worked wonders in stopping the the bugs from eating the leaves or, or what have you so basically I've got just a couple of bits of dye back here now there's no leaves on this this little branch here so in the middle of summer that's telling you that that bit is dead it'll never grow leaves again because the wood inside is, is just literally died from the tip back to the, the main trunk. So we just snip that off about half an inch, so half an inch here, back to the trunk. Now there's also, as you can see, a little bit of die back there, one little branch there that's grown at the back. Now I, I think I'll leave that one under the back um, for this year. Let's see if it helps to emphasise the shape. If not, I'll take it off next year. And I'm going to try and keep the shape that the tree has. To me, it's quite a, an oriental, unique look. So we'll see how it does next year. I probably won't do too much of pruning on the the leaves themselves this year with its shape but I'll probably just let it do its own thing and see next early spring how it's doing. But the difference with this tree in the past couple of years where it's been struggling with leaves that weren't this large and it hasn't been as bushy as well and basically it's down to the root and powder again on this tree that 
it's really just put on so much healthy growth since spring earlier this year if I didn't say it, so it's the 26th of July 2021 this morning so it's the middle of summer and the trees looking very nice so I'll update you on this one very soon bye for now